Hello friends. In this video, I am here to tell you how we can install Kafka, single node Kafka using Docker Compose. So for this, the prerequisite is Docker should be installed into your machine and it should be into the running state. So how to verify whether the Docker is running into your machine or not? So before that, I'll be telling you how you can download the Docker desktop. So you have to come to this docker.com products and then you have to come to this download section and here you will be able to see this option docker desktop based on your machines by default uh, it will be selected the os will be selected in my case i'm using windows so you can see it is by default windows is getting selected if not you can just change it from here so now if you are trying to make use for the windows you can download it by clicking from here okay if you are going to work with the Linux, you have to choose this one. In case of Mac, we are having the two different flavors. One is for the Apple chip and another for the Intel chip. So just download Docker corresponding to your chip itself. Okay. So what you have to do? You have to click on this button and your file will get started downloading. You can see Docker desktop is getting uh, downloaded. It will be of around 500 MB. Okay. So just be sure that it is properly downloaded once it is properly downloaded what you have to do you have to double click on this file application file whatever you have downloaded and it will take around five minute times to get it installed you have to be patient while installing docker at last of this docker installation it will ask you to reboot your system make sure that you are mandatory rebooting your system if you are not doing it means docker will not get reflected and it will not run properly okay so once you run it and your system is uh, rebooted from the search bar you can simply search for the docker and you will see this option so what you have to do you have to click on this one once you click on this one you will see this docker window open how to verify whether your docker is up and running or not so you can see left hand side down a running engine which is into the green color if it is not running it will be into the orange color okay initially you will not find any kind of the containers and image over here okay so what you have to do we need to download some image file of the kafka and zookeeper using the docker compose file so how to download it so you can google it and you will get a lot of the files options from where you can download it if you don't want to just uh, waste your time into that, just follow my GitHub link, which is present into the video's description. From there, you can simply directly click on that and you will be able to download the Docker file. It's very simple and it's very small. I am showing you right away into this editor. You can see, I will rename uh, the folder uh, file like this one kafka docker compose yaml and this is the file okay so it's very small as well so what you have to do you have to simply download it keep into your machine somewhere and you have to make use of this one in my case i have kept inside this directory over here so this is the directory where i have kept okay you can keep anywhere once you keep your file into a particular directory what you have to do you have to execute the command to initialize your docker and for that we have the command that is known as docker compose space hyphen f then the location of your file where it is then a space up and d so this is the command to initialize and start your kafka using docker once you start it initially if you are starting for the first time you will see a lot of the files will get downloaded okay and it will take time once it is downloaded that time you can see the files which is present inside this okay like this you will be able to find these two okay now once you have these files you have to start it so how to start it again you have to execute the same command okay and after that you will see this option running two of two and first one is known as the deployment 
hyphen two keeper hyphen one it is running and then kafka will also get started once it is started how you can create topic how you can describe the topic site right? how you can see the state of the your kafka cluster right so for that purpose this is the command docker compose hyphen f then ps ps is for process and if you execute this command right you can see we are getting the information about this that kafka and jukeeper both are running at these particular ports it means our kafka is successfully started now what to do so we need to enter into the bash cell of your kafka so how to enter it so this is the command to enter into your bash cell kafka bash okay once you execute this command you will come to this bash cell like this one from here either you can create your topic list your topic describe your topic whatever the operations you want to do on a particular kafka based topics you can do it so if you execute this command right this is the command bin slash kafka topic hyphen space dash dash list then boot step server localhost 9092 it will list you the topic initially there will be no topic created into your machine okay so you need to create it and how to create that topic i'll be uh, just covering the command into the description as well or you can get it from the github page that itself i'll be adding a uh, one readme file from where you can simply copy the command and you can execute it once you uh, create the topic give the topic name whatever you want to do give okay replace into the command and in the same the topic will get created then you can list it by using this command if you want to describe instead of list you can make use of describe and it will describe like this one you can see the topic name how many partitions how many leaders replica and isr all the information it will be presented from here we have very well known uh, tools for this Kafka visualization that is known as conductor. What is this conductor then? So if you just search conductor Kafka, you will see this option. Conductor.io is the URL. You can just simply click on this. Okay. It is free trial for single node cluster. If you are having multi node cluster, you cannot make huge into the free version okay so what you have to do you have to download it this conductor how we can download the conductor so try uh, login it and try for free okay as it is showing you for the enterprise version okay now what you have to do you have to select for the free version okay so for free versions again you have to do the same process will be same you can see conductor desktop and how it will look like so let me show you that as well so i have already downloaded that exe file and installed it once you have installed it you will be able to find this option click on this icon okay it will load the conductor for you It will take a few seconds to get it loaded okay meanwhile what we can do as we have seen that our kafka is topic is created so what we can do we can create two different clients one will be the producer another will we will create as a consumer oh nice we got this conductor loaded over here initially you will not find any of the cluster over here so what you have to do you have to click on this new Kafka cluster, you can click on this one and you can give the host at the local host and port, whatever the port you have given. If you are downloading the YAML file from my uh, GitHub, so port will be this one only from where you can access it. Okay. See here, this is a very nice tool to visualize your Kafka. And I have created two topics, so it is saying me the details inside this one. Let me click on this 
overview first so this overview page will give you the information about how many brokers is available which version of the kafka is getting created how many topics and other details okay so in my case i have the broker only one broker localhost and which is running at this part is uh, port topics i have currently two topics one i have already removed it but it's, it is still showing it it is not particularly updated so this is the data age one topic if you click on that it will give you all the information about the topic partitions per broker configurations all the information you can visualize it from here okay and it will give you the account size whatever the consumer it is accessing okay so we'll close this one what we can do we can uh, quickly create two power uh, power cells and from that power cells what we can do we can just uh, reach into the batch cell of your kafka so this is my kafka which is running at this one and what we can do we can execute this command docker compose this batch cell okay once we are into the batch cell similarly we can create one more batch cell over here this will be for consumer and previous one i have created for the producer okay so you will see that i am inside the cell of the kafka now this is the command for your kafka producer kafka console producer hyphen hyphen bootstrap server this is the server and you have to make use of the topic what the topic we have created once you execute this command it will uh, give you this prompt like this one okay similar way you can just give the this command over here okay so you can type anything and the same it is going to be reflected over here so the consumer i'm starting right now okay let me type some more messages hello how are you i am fine what about you see all the things whatever we are typing it from the producers and let me just reduce it here this was the in the back end it is a producer cell and this is the consumer cell and all the messages we are getting over here so this is how we can start working with the kafka using docker and this is the simple applications of the producer consumer using the cell same thing we can also do it programmatically that i'll be uploading you into the next video so thank you stay tuned for more videos related to data engineering pythons and other programming languages as well so thank you